on the E. This 17-year-old boy whose identity we're protecting was one of seven people shot last night at a fast food restaurant in the Englewood neighborhood. Two people didn't survive. I just heard shots. Six-year-old Marshawn Means has been resting in the hospital much of the day since undergoing surgery to treat a gunshot wound to the chest. Relatives say he suffers from sickle cell anemia and was lucky the bullet missed vital organs. Got him. He said he wasn't playing cops and robbers. The little boy just pointed a gun at him and said, I hate you. He shot him. Police search. Breaking news on Chicago's south side tonight. A security guard has been shot and killed in an attempted robbery at a grocery store. A woman was also shot there, and she survived. The shots were fired at an Aldi store near 90th and Halstead. Police tonight still looking for the gunman, ABC 7 John Garcia. He was doing what he loved to do, not harming anybody. Something needs to be done. Linda you today, a 13-year-old boy who just loved playing basketball, and he idolized bull star Derrick Rose, is dead, shot down by random gunfire. So, I'm glad to have had him for 13 years. Stephanie Brown had dinner ready for her 13-year-old son Darius and the family when a few of his friends came running to her Southside home to tell her he'd been shot in a nearby park playing basketball. My child got killed on the city streets of Chicago. A nine-year-old boy shot outside of his home overnight is hospitalized in critical but stable condition. This happened in the Roseland neighborhood at 30 East 100th Place, just blocks away from where another shooting killed a 17-year-old boy on Monday. 17-year-old Martel Fields died Monday night, a casualty of gang gunfire. My son was innocently shot. From what I'm hearing, the bullet was not intended for him. And now it's just, it's terrible. He will never grow up to do with the things that he wanted to do. Here's an update on that breaking story we told you about earlier. Nine people have been shot on the southwest side of Chicago. ABC 7's Karen Jordan live from the scene at 79th and Western. Some witnesses have said that a person in an SUV pulled up to this bus terminal shooting at a person standing waiting for the bus. We are still waiting to get that confirmed by police. Also, it's... It was an extraordinarily violent weekend in Chicago with 52 people shot between Friday night and early this morning. Eight of them were killed. Good evening, everyone. This is a parent's pain in the wake of gun violence. I know this is going to happen, though. When you when you hand with gangs, this is what happened. I mean, this is crazy. Charles Ibitoye's 17-year-old son, OJ, is among the 52 people who fell prey to gun violence over the weekend. On Sunday, Chicago police officials blame the majority of the high number of shootings on the violent and illegal activities of the city's numerous street gangs. 